In this video, I'm checking out Sony's 50mm f2.8 macro lens. Let's get started. The Sony 50mm f2.8 macro was released in August of 2016 after the 90mm f2.8 macro. It is certainly more compact than the 90mm. This 50mm is very light at 236 grams. The lens is made out of plastic, metal, and glass, but it feels well built and premium. On the back it has a metal mount, electronic connections for autofocus, and around the side you have a few switches. One controls autofocus and manual focus, a focus hold button which stops the autofocus from hunting when pressed, and a focus limiter switch which limits the focus between three settings. So if you're trying to take macro photos, it will only focus very close to the lens. Around the front you have a deeply recessed front element that is inside of a tube that extends out as you focus on your subject. Fully extended you can see how long this lens is and conveniently there are markings on the top showing magnification ratio. This lens does one to one magnification so it is a true macro. The Sony 50mm macro features eight elements in seven groups and a seven rounded blade diaphragm. On a camera such as the a6100 it looks great and because it is lightweight it's not a burden to carry around with you. Now, one of the great things about macro lenses is, especially on macro lenses with autofocus, you can use them just as you would regular lenses. So you're effectively getting a macro lens and a lens that you can use for portraits all in one package. And because this 50 millimeter is f2.8, you can actually take some decent portraits with it. So anyway, let's jump into some samples. The majority of these were actually taken on my Sony a7C, a full frame camera, just because I was testing this lens and I was testing that camera in particular. But I actually think that this lens is even better suited for an APS-C size sensor camera, such as the a6100 that I have it on right here. Anyway, let's take a look at the samples. <laughs> So that is it for the sample photos, now let's talk about image quality. In terms of optics, this lens is effectively perfect, very sharp in the center, very sharp in the corners. There is a slight bit of vignetting but almost unnoticeable. Chromatic aberration is barely visible and is very well controlled. Flaring is also well controlled even though this lens doesn't come with a lens hood 
and I don't think you can get one for it. Colors are very natural and vibrant, skin tones look excellent. From a result-only perspective, this lens is so much better than the 50mm f1.8 or the nifty 50 as some like to call it. Add to that that this lens has macro capabilities and you are getting two lenses in one, a great macro and a great portrait lens. However, there are a few negatives, primarily the autofocus performance on this lens is noisy, it's slow, and it tends to hunt. It reminds me a lot of older styled lenses that have that kind of, well, I mean, you can listen to it here. If you leave the focus limiter switch in the full position, this lens will hunt all the way through the focus, so from very close up to infinity and back, and it will do that in between each and every shot. So even when you're taking portraits and your subject isn't necessarily moving forward or backward, it will tend to refocus and it's very slow because it has to go one direction, then the other focus take the shot, then one direction, the other focus, take the shot. Now you can reduce that by flipping the switch over and just focusing from infinity to 0.3 of a meter, for example, but even then the focus is just incredibly slow. You can use manual focus, but even when you do, the focus ring is just way too precise. It takes way too many turns to rack focus, so you end up spending a lot of time rotating the focus ring trying to get it right. So for video work, between the noisy and the slow autofocus and the too precise manual focus, this lens isn't great. However, even with all of those negatives, I think that this is an excellent lens. Let me explain. First of all, the 90mm f2.8 macro from Sony is a better lens than the 50mm. Let me get that straight. If you're looking for an all-out excellent, dare I say perfect macro lens for your Sony full-frame or APS-C camera, the 90mm is where it's at. It is twice as expensive as this lens, but it has a faster silent autofocusing system. And at 90mm, you can get really close to your subject without actually having to get really close to your subject. So that is nice. However, for APS-C shooters, I think that this 50mm f2.8 makes a whole lot of sense, even given the fact that the autofocus performance is pretty mediocre. Right now in the Sony mirrorless lineup, you have effectively three lenses that you can buy that are macros for your APS-C or full frame camera. You have the Sony 30mm f3.5, you have this 50mm f2.8 macro, and then you have the 90mm f2.8 that I just mentioned. The 30mm f3.5 is a decent lens for APS-C cameras, but the problem with that lens is similar to the problem with this 50mm on a full frame, and that is you have to get really close for macro stuff. And if you put this 50mm on an APS-C size censored camera, then you get effectively a 75mm field of view, which is much easier for insect photography, food photography, and beyond. And the 50mm macro is just as compact, or almost just as compact, as the 30mm and only about twice the price. You could find it for much less used though, so there are bargains out there. So if you are wanting a perfect macro lens in your life, then get the 90 millimeter f2.8 from Sony. It's still one of my favorite full frame Sony lenses. But if you are okay with spending half the money and you're okay with compromising on the slow and hunting autofocus performance, then this is a stellar lens and a bit of a hidden gem. So that is going to be it for my review of the 50mm f2.8 macro from Sony. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. As always, if you guys are interested in picking up this lens, reading specs, uh, getting prices, check out the links down in the description below. Stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much for all of your support, all of your likes and your comments. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.